Hey guys, welcome back. We're still on our quest for wood, and I want to share something that I found with you guys uh, just yesterday. It was a uh, public farm that actually allows you to grow trees. So we're over here. Pull up the map a little bit. We're on the very eastern part of the western continent here. So all the way over here at the Starfire Grove. And this public farm allows you to grow trees, as you can see. And there's a, a lot of trees. Tons and tons of trees. So when you grow a tree, you actually chop it down. You're going to see over here, we get logs. So we got seven logs, which is great. You can plant five trees in this area. You're going to have a hard time finding um, space. Because it's very hard to move around in this area and plant stuff. So I do recommend once you do find a spot that you pretty much don't let it go. So I found a spot that I was able to plant my five trees. I bought a couple extra trees because I wasn't also sure how many you could plant here. And then the only tree that I really found that could work here was the uh, horn beam sam sampling. So you can see your tree disappears. You want to try and get them as close as possible to the other trees. So you can see it is a little difficult to place the tree because there's so many other trees in here. Uh, as soon as I place these guys, I'm going to go show you how big this farm is and how many freaking trees are here already. And this is, you know, remember Alpha, this is like a week after they released the Founders Packs. Um, so, I mean, this is still relatively early, but the entire amount of land has pretty much been taken up. So if you are one of the Alpha testers and you want to, you know, get ahead when the game releases make sure you get over here as soon as possible oops I think I messed up and I, I accidentally made it so I can't place my fourth tree oh there we go or my fifth tree so, so you really want to just like claim your land so I know my spots here so I'm gonna put a little uh, marker on my location so I know exactly where my trees are because you're going to see this forest is huge. And I mean, it used to be a farm, a public farm, but now it's a freaking forest. So we're going to go and walk around. And you may actually be able to steal some people's trees in here because I believe it only lasts for a day, the protection. So if you're kind of living in here, you can probably find a lot of people's trees that they forgot about after a day or so. And you can see there's a lot of people in here. So finding a tree that is public property might be a little tough but there's tons and tons and tons of trees so a great tip is to definitely rush this area get your land there and once you have your land never let it go you know, constantly check every day get your trees cut them down plant new ones So again, we're going to go back and run through here. And you can see, it, you know, finding a spot to plant trees, you're not really finding too much empty land in here. I was really surprised when I actually found my little patch of land uh, the other day. It looks like here's one right here that you could possibly plant. Yeah. So there is still some land available. Not very much. And you can only plant a max amount of five trees. So once more people populate the game, this is definitely going to be full always. Because, I mean, there's free trees here. So I'll get you an overground view of the forest here. So you can just see how massive this is. This is just 
trees after trees after trees after trees. He said that's pretty insane. The seed person is over here in this uh, little hut area where you can buy your trees. It's so big that I haven't even seen the sign that says what they can actually allow you to uh, to farm there. So the only way I was able to figure out what you could farm was I looked at other people's trees and I saw that they were growing them and that seems to be the only tree really that they're growing there. So you can see the merchant is right there. And then also we did just get the glider, the uh, level 25 glider that can shoot things. Definitely very cool. So there's an aerial view of what you can expect in the public farm that gives trees. See, honestly, I don't even know where the actual entrance is. And maybe this building over here? So unfortunately, uh, for people that don't have land there now, it's almost going to be impossible to find land, especially after this video posts. Because um, more people are going to go over here and, you know, plant trees and try and... So you're really hoping that people don't maintain their land. Uh, because I believe, like I said, it's a 24-hour hold that you have for anything in the public farms. So if people don't gather it within 24 hours, then you can come in and take it, and then you can take their land. So checking here periodically is a great way to get free trees and logs. So out of that, we got... trying to look at the logs here to see how many logs we ended up getting out of those five trees. We got 45 logs out of those five trees. So that's quite a bit of logs. Um, that's going to be each lumber pack takes three logs to make. So that's going to be 15 lumber packs. So that's going to do it for this episode. So remember the Starfire Grove, you want to get over there ASAP and get your land. Uh, especially for beta and for the live game.